What's up, YouTube? I told you we were going to make that Charmander, so we're going to do a little Pokemon series, I guess, right this second. So we're going to do the Charmander real quick. It takes a few balloons if you want that little tail he's got. So um, that's the only bad part about it, but we'll get into it real quick. I got a orange 350 and a blush 350. They both got a whole lot of tail. I got two orange 260s, both got a whole lot of tail. And then these could be scraps, but I just had whole balloons sitting out. I got a orange, yellow, and red 160 for the tail. You could probably do 260s too, but I think it'd be better if it's smaller. So we're going to make a bubble on the blush. All right, maybe uh, hand, let's, let's shorten this up a little bit. Right there. Make it like a, a hand and a thumb. Look at that, hand and a thumb. We're gonna hold that under your arm. We're going to take your orange 350 and tie it where we made that bubble, all right? So we're gonna tie it right there. All I did was tie it to it. I am gonna cut that nozzle off. I found my scissors after about 16 hours of looking. I found them. Um, they're right where I left them. So I tied these two together and we got that. Now we're going to match the orange up. Uh -oh. We'll match that orange up to the top. So you got that and lock it in. We'll cut that nozzle off too. I don't like it. We'll cut that nozzle off that balloon. So we are nozzleless. We have no nozzles on these balloons. All right, so we got that. And I'm gonna lock this in just to be safe. The uh, orange. Pull it through. Whoop. All right, so you got this hanging out. And this hanging out. We can get ready to get rid of this in a minute. But that'll be a second. All right, we're going to make a loop with the orange and twist it in. And this is a hands whip. The hand straight, not with the thumb out, the hand straight. Five fingers. All right, and we'll make a small bubble. And two, three fingers. Make a pinch twist. Two, three fingers. So we got the loop, bubble, pinch twist. We're gonna wrap it all the way around back to the pinch twist. All the way around. Okay, all the way around. And you know me, I'm gonna make one more pinch twist in the back. The blush is gonna be the front part, like his belly, break that off, tie it in. Okay, so we got that guy right there. There's his head, there's the back of his head. Looks like a fish. All right. We can break this blush off and tie it at the bottom. I like to tie it twice just to make sure. And now I'm gonna cut them little pieces off. Sorry guys. No good at tying balloons. All right, so I got that on the end. I'm gonna just clean that up a little bit. Just going, that's good enough. All right, so you got this. That's the first part of the charm. Right now you got your 260s. We're gonna make hands. So you make a loop, three finger loop. Three finger loop. Pinch twist it. Pull it through the blush, pull it through the blush and the orange. Now me personally, I like little itty bitty arms. That's just what I like. So I like to make his arms short where it ain't sticking out, but you make them however long you want. So as soon as you get the length you want, twist it. Make another loop, three finger loop. You make another hand, 
So you got a three finger loop, three finger loop. And then right here, I'm gonna make two pinch twists. I'm gonna make one that's like one to two fingers. And then I'm gonna make one more that's real small, like one finger. And that's just so I got something to tie my balloon into. You never know. Break that off, tie this into the hand. So his little arm, I just like it like that. His little arms are tight. They're hugged in tight. Makes him look a little cuter. All right. Now we're going to take the other 260 and make a loop like four fingers. All right. We're going to make another loop, four fingers. Match them up. That's going to be his feet. Make a pinch twist. All right, stretch it out a little bit. And we're gonna take this, same way. We're gonna take it through, the orange in the blush. Take it through, get the legs the length you want them. I don't like them long either, but however you choose, twist it into that pinch twist in the feet, okay? So you got right what is this not working all right just adjusting so you kind of got his feet at the bottom you got a little bit i like to put two pinch twists back here for his feet that's so i can make that tail shoot up the direction i need it to might not be ideal for some of you guys, but I like it. All right, so what we got is a tail sticking out. I got a pinch twist at the bottom and a pinch twist in the back. I like to give this a sharp bend. So I just squeeze the air out. So it's, oh boy. I didn't put enough air in this bin. It'll be all right. So it's pointing up. Inside the char mask, so you can see it pointing up. I'll tie that off, or if it's at the end, I'll break it and still make a piece that I can tie off to, because you need to be able to tie that. I'm going to cut that a little long, but you need to be able to tie that. All right, now we need the red 160, and I'm going to tie that on to the end of the tail. Tie it pretty tight so it ain't going nowhere. I'm just waiting for one of these kids to pop down here. That's why I'm kind of, and make a loop. Three, four finger loop, probably three finger. Three finger loop. Take your yellow, before you break this off, take your yellow and tie that into the same piece, the red and the, so you got them both sticking out. All right, tie it in there good. Make a little space above it, like a one finger. And make a pinch twist. And you're gonna bring this around. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh-oh. Got that rolling. Had to um bring it all the way around back to the pinch twist. I'll make one more. Then I break this off. Tie it in there good. Now the reason I didn't break this red off, because now I'm gonna break that off. And I'm gonna tie that into the same yellow pinch twist. You know what? No, I'm not either. It ain't working. I didn't make it long enough. But you get the idea. Make it make it a little long so you can tie it into that yellow. So you got that. Now take your orange, tie it into that pinch twist in the back. Loop it in a couple times and wrap it around. Wrap it kind of tight. Not too tight, but get you a good feel. Tie it in there a couple times and break it off. That's why I said you didn't need much of that balloon at all. But that'll give you like the end of his tail. 
it's got a little fire on it or something. I mean, I don't know. Y'all know how to make fire. I don't. That's what I came up with. So you got this. A little charm. Right now we're going to draw on this guy. Last night when I made it, his eyes were more oval. I think I want to make them more round today. So we'll check it out. I'll show you both versions. Then you can decide. But I made them oval last night. I didn't really like it. So we're gonna try and draw them round tonight. Two eyes, two eyebrows. Now. I just put a little mouth, all right? Not the little mouth that I usually put. I make it a little bit longer and just put a little, ooh, ooh, little wave to it. There you go, got that. And then I put two little marks right there. A little, uh, yeah, yeah, for his nose. But I don't know what it, nostril. I mean, that's where he breathes some of that fire, but there you go, you got that. All right, now we're gonna take the white. We're gonna use a little bit of white. We're gonna go beside the eye. And I'll show you why. If you got paint markers, you don't need this. If you got good paint markers, you do not need to do this. But I do not have good paint markers. So I went beside the eyes, okay? That's because I'm gonna give his eyes some color. On his mouth, I just give them three little teeth. They, they don't even have to be triangles, but you try to make them like little triangles, they ain't gotta be, he's got little teeth. On his feet, I do the same thing. Three little triangles. Don't matter where you put them, just put them toward the front of the foot. It's just to give a little flare. That, that. See, he's got the little white. It's hard to see with the light, but he's got little white. It'll be like his mean toenails or whatever. I take the black on that little white at the bottom, and I just... You don't have to do all this. You don't even have to put these on the feet. And I just put little highlights on them. That's all. All right. Now, hopefully that white has dried. Take your light blue. I like the light blue. But you can make his eyes whatever color you want. I like the light blue. And I go right around them with the um, um, um with the blue. Right on the edges. And then up oh, here. I knew. Here they come. Here they come. Somebody's spitting. Somebody's spitting. That's what happens. Jovi, I'll be in there in a minute, okay? okay. Love, you. Love you. And now we're just highlighting eyes. Pretty easy. Sorry, I ran through this kind of quick. Look, there's his little eyes. Highlight them. Two at the bottom, bigger. Two at the top, small. Are you a little Charmander? So now, you should have a Squirtle, a Bulbasaur. I don't know why I like that Bulbasaur, but I did. I might have them laying around here. So you got Charmander, Bulbasaur, and the deflated Squirtle for another night. So you got some of these little Pokemon. Hopefully they'll work for you. I don't know why I like this one the best, but I did. But anyway, it might be just the artwork. But there's a little Charmander. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'm working on maybe something else, maybe another Pokemon. If you got any ideas, let me know. Don't give me nothing crazy. I'm not making a dragon. I'm not making a Snorlax as big as my room. Just don't get crazy. Just, if you got an idea, shoot me a line. YouTube, have a good night. Later.